Aloha, good morning everyone. Today is May 1st, 2024. Time is 9.17 a.m. Eastern, new month. I look at the calendar. As we know, we have important news at 2, 2.30, very important day today. Uh, and so is tomorrow and so is Friday. I just see this whole week as important. I put the last and settle in. Settle this year. Overnight inventory is 100% short. We watch to see if there's any counter auction to overnight inventory. Again, for all those who are new, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a Market Profile 101 series to watch that. Um, uh, the overnight POC is right here. I won't really take it as prominent. It's just the POC. It's it's a level, but if you see, it's just sticking around over here. But I'll just keep that level in mind. It's not a prominent POC. It doesn't really stick out. Now, see, this level is so close to that level, so I won't really take that as a prominent POC. So overnight inventory short. Uh, let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday was a lot to do with what's coming today with the news event and the participants in the market. Now, this is how I see the markets. You may see it differently. But from Friday, Thursday, Friday last week, right? We saw this gap up. We pushed higher. We saw this non-access high, right? This is, could be an indication of a market that is short term too long, right? With a combination of uh, short covering as well. So same thing yesterday, I mean, on Monday, excuse me, market opened higher, could not find any continuation higher, right? And then we yesterday, we had this non-excess high, shy of this POC, very visual level selling, buying, as I've been saying for a long time now. And this, again, is non-excess. This is an indication. This could be an indication, rather, of a market that is too long. And then we saw one time framing lower. Again, this gap was, this is the gap from Friday, Thursday, Friday, right? It came pretty close to that, tried to go higher, did not find any continuation higher, did not get back into this previous day's range. And we saw one time framing lower again, the gap got closed. The gap is like single prints, it can just slice through it. The gap got closed. Again, H low came exactly to this Thursday's gap, uh, uh, Thursday's high. Very visual level, buying, selling, buying, selling. And then what happens in the last L and M period? We see this flush down. What is this? This is just short term traders who are going long, closing the position, um, thinking, you know, today's big news event. So we rather not be in the market smart to do that. And they're closing the position. And that's what happened. Or it could also be these longs just buying in here and trying to hope this will start bounce off and go higher because very visual level buying and selling. They're buying trying to think oh, this is an important support we buy it there and this could keep going higher go back higher right and of course there was no continuation beyond j and then k once time one time framing lower and then we saw this okay now this is how i'm seeing the market of course it's different for some people but uh, i'll today is a day that i will not be trading i'll be just sitting and watching i might look at crude oil or something but uh, for now for today for the yes just watch nothing nothing to do all right and I'd recommend the same for you, those who are new and you know not that much of an experience in the markets. Just sit on the sidelines. There's no need to trade every single day, like I've said. Okay. All right, guys, trade safe and let me know if you have any questions. Aloha.